What's going on everybody? Just a quick preface of this video. Um, I'm terrible at explaining stuff. Most of the time people could argue I can't even talk properly. Uh, that's just life I suppose. I can't talk. I'm talking now but I generally can't talk for shit. So um, I do apologise if my explanation of this whole Zavi every delivery saga is hard to follow. I try to implement some receipts here and there to kind of make it a bit more, you know, uh, make sense. I suppose, um, you know, coherent even, but yeah, um, but if you do want to skip that bullshit and go straight to the unboxing, the timestamp is right here, so yeah, um, if you don't want to listen to me fucking rambling on about Zavi and Every and how they're fucking bullshit, you can skip right to the unboxing. I picked this up on the Zavi Black Friday deal, a great deal actually, but unknown to me, it would open a can of worms and some of the most worst back and forth customer service I've ever had to deal with. I paid next day delivery and it took five days to arrive. Figure that one out guys, let's get into it. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the Monsterverse 4K Steelbook Collection and how Zavi might be some of the worst customer service retailers out there to try and sort out issues when your item doesn't arrive. And especially when you pay extra for next day delivery and it takes every their career to take five days and about three delays to actually get it to you. I'm thankful that I've got it and I'm looking forward to unboxing it at the end of the video. It's going to be fucking awesome. But let's get into this fucking ridiculousness from Zavi and formerly known as Hermes every, shall we? So basically I paid next day delivery for this. Uh, it was six pounds for next day delivery. I thought buy it on the Friday. It arrives. It would arrive on the Saturday. Great. I could do a video unboxing it. It'd be awesome. But no, it doesn't arrive Saturday. Uh, it says, oh, we, it'll come Sunday, they said, right? It'll come Sunday, we promise. It'll be here Sunday. Uh, Sunday comes around and it doesn't get arrived. There's, there's been a delay or whatever. I can't even remember if it's uh, been um, updated, whether there's going to be an issue or not. I'll, I'll show receipts on this video anyway as, as we go through here. But yeah, I was waiting for it. Sunday came, it didn't, it didn't turn up. Monday came along, they claimed, oh, you know, next day delivery, uh, next working day would deliver it. And it didn't come. They had a, I think they had a window between like 11 and like 10 and 11 a.m. And then by like quarter to 11, they were like, oh, we can't deliver it today. And I don't understand why, because are their drivers asleep or something during the day or something? I don't know. So I didn't, they, they didn't deliver it then. And yeah, I didn't get it until like, what day is it? I forget what day, but yeah, seriously, like five days, five days from basically five days from, from the Saturday when I was meant to get it, basically. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, I got it on the Thursday and it's like just a pain in the ass. And Zavi didn't help the issue, right? Let's go through Zavi with their fucking terrible, terrible customer service. So you you go you go to Zavi, you go to the in-app support, right? And you say, my item hasn't arrived, and you you uh, you just you tell them, look, look, I paid next day delivery. I expected it to be arrived next day. It was said that it would be arriving next day. I got an update from Evie saying it should be here the next day, and it never arrived, and it took them forever to, to do it and delays and whatnot. And you're just talking to bots. There's 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 no one in particular you're talking to. They do have a name at the end, and I do believe it is maybe one person replying to you. But every time you make a reply to that person's message, you get a different person coming back to you. It's like a back and forth of just different people. And no one co-communicates on what's going on with this kind of issue. And it just becomes a mess. An absolute mess of just like repeating yourself over and over again to the point of nausea. And it, it became so bad that I even I even filed a, 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 a claim against Savvy on my PayPal account because I paid through PayPal for this. And I've I've... 
I know I've got the item now, but still they ignored that completely, the PayPal claim. They haven't come back to me whatsoever on that PayPal claim. So that is that, basically. Even when you phone them, you phone them and it's fucking bullshit. You phone them and it's like, it's just another bot. It's, there's no human there. It's absolute shit. It's absolute nonsense. It's like, there's no fucking human there. It's so fucking ridiculous. Like, how hard is it to get someone on the phone just to say, look, I've paid this. It hasn't arrived. It's still being delayed, being delayed, being delayed. Give me some money back. Now, thankfully, with a pinch of salt, though, pinch of salt, guys, thankfully, they have come back to me, Zavi, and they have said, we will give you a refund, right, of the postage cost, at least, which that's all I am I'm expecting because I paid extra for next day. It didn't come until five days after the fact. I, I deserve my money back. In my opinion, that's what that is. And, uh, you know, I've, I've heard from... People, you know, that said, like, you know, they've spoken to, you know, you know post delivery people that said, you know, next day is not guaranteed. It's just, it's a guide. But when the Zavi have it on their thing, next day delivery, get it by, get it, get it tomorrow, next day delivery, six pound. You're going to think to yourself, okay, cool, I'll get it tomorrow. But that's not the case. It wasn't the case here. I've heard rumors that they used to be a Royal Mail, but they moved, they moved to every to avoid the postal strikes and the delays. But everybody knows about this point. I even knew before I even realized that their career was every that every is like one of the worst fucking delivery careers out there. And this this saga just proved it to me whole wholesale pretty much. It was just fucking awful. I, I couldn't get over how bad this just this went went on. Like to be on and on, I sent so many fucking messages over fucking the in app support, and then you've got the fucking you got to fill out a fucking miss, missing items form that I don't think ever came to anything. And then you've got, and then I did like an actual, like a, I sent an actual message through the, um, through the problem thing. So there's all these different avenues of trying to get hold of something and resolve, resolve the issue. There was no resolution aside from this one person saying that they're going to refund my postage. But up until now, I've had no confirmation email to tell me that they are refunding my postage. So I will see what will happen there and I might update on, on the community tab whether I've I got my refund. But anyway, like that's the saga of for me getting this. I was super excited when I saw this on the, on the last chance Black Friday deal. It was literally the last chance to get it. And I do believe this, it was out not long out of stock once I bought this. But this was £100 reduced to £50. And uh, when this came out originally, I wasn't really comfortable paying £100 for it. And from what I saw from the images, it didn't really look like the set that I was really looking, you know, it didn't look that good to me. Um, but since then, I've seen unboxings and it did look quite amazing. And I'm not the biggest um, Steelbook fan, but this is Godzilla and I'm a massive MonsterVerse fan. So for £50, I had to pick this up. It was a no-brainer to me. So yeah, um, let's get on to unboxing this. Let's flip the camera around and get to it, shall we? Oh yeah. So we've got the cellophane off and now we can have a look at this set properly without the whole the glare and the shiny thing from the cellophane. Got each side there. I'm just gonna remove this uh so I remove the J card, that's what you see on the side, the front, the other side, that is the back of the uh J card or whatever you want to call this, J card sleeve, whatever it is. So that is that. Don't really care for J cards if you know this channel. So here's the front of the box. You see all of the spines, different colours on the steel books. We've got Godzilla on the right side, and we've got King Kong or Kong as he's known in this franchise on the left. On the back, we've got this really nice. Actually, that's really cool. Actually, I'm digging that artwork, guys. Really am. This looks awesome. So that's that's that artwork there and on the bottom we've just got some logos these are housed like this set is actually it's actually tin like it's made from metal which is quite nice i didn't show the top stop this has got monster verse on there it's made from metal it's a really nice uh set i don't know why they didn't do this um for the uh indiana jones set but i digress different company different studio that owns that franchise but yeah um these, uh, I seen an unboxing of this uh, a little while ago and I had to get it for £50. I thought, this is a no-brainer. These come out very nice. That, 
that is unbelievable that is amazing and zoom out a bit there we go zoom out a bit and you can see a much better representation ignore the mess here it's, uh, i don't really have a proper um setup for these kind of unboxing videos but yeah um it looks absolutely stunning uh, i love the silver and red for the godzilla 2014 you've got the 4k and the blu-ray there of course the blu-ray is going to be in a terrible just boring blue thing but i do like what they've done with the disc art on here just got godzilla in a, in a kind of like monochrome kind of grayscale look looks really cool uh first impressions guys this is awesome i absolutely adore this in person pictures weren't doing it justice in my opinion but when you got it in your hands and you're having a look at the steel books in person they look amazing so that's godzilla 2014 and they slide they slide back in so nice they put that really nice as well they they you can remove them from the box really nice now we have a green motif for kong skull island again uh i'm loving this kind of high gloss silver and a prime color uh in this turn and this time it's green of course just gorgeous these are absolutely gorgeous i absolutely adore these uh on the spine you've got green there and then you've got the uh the, the 4k and the blu-ray again the blu-ray is on a boring blue disc where you've got kong's handprint on the 4k disc then you've got a picture of Kong there. Did I show off the inner art on this? I can't remember, but we can have a look at it anyway. Oh, yes, we've got uh, Godzilla looking over uh, the bridge there. Really, really great moment, actually, that, that sequence uh, when he first arrives. It's awesome. Then we have Godzilla, King of the Monsters, in a yellow motif. As you can see, the spine is yellow. I uh, just really love how these look, are looking. These look absolutely stunning. Uh, again, you know, chrome, like silver and, uh, you know, gold there. Um, just almost like brushed metal almost. It's just really nice. High gloss as well. Um, a bit of a boring disc for both of these. That's disappointing. Well, this is kind of a disappointing sequel in my opinion. So I guess it goes in line with the film. And then finally we have... The latest in the Godzilla uh, MonsterVerse movies, that is uh, Kong versus uh, Godzilla versus Kong. Sorry, in a nice blue motif. I love that. That looks fantastic. And you've got the spine there as well. If it will focus on the spine for me, you get the idea. So yes, uh, Kong and Godzilla there. Really like that cover art. It looks awesome. Uh, again, this hasn't got. The best of uh, discard, I suppose, but oh well. I uh, definitely prefer what they did on the um, Godzilla 2014 4K disc. Oh, what was the uh, inner artwork? We have Godzilla, and I'm guessing behind here, uh, behind the discs, should we say, we have expanded artwork. Didn't think about this. Here we go. Got Kong there. Expanded artwork inside. Always nice. That is Godzilla vs. Kong. And they just go, they slide back in like so, so. They go back in very smoothly like this. And then we've got, obviously, that one. What was the artwork on this? Oh, yes, Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. Really hard to get them back in the box uh, when it's uh, looking for the camera. So we have, I'm just guessing this is a, just a fuller effect of Kong. Yep, just a fuller effect there. Picture of Kong in the background. And I'm guessing this is also a longer image of Godzilla there. It's pretty fucking awesome. Definitely has got the best disc art for the 4K disc. Definitely. Uh, any, 
Godzilla 2014. So that is it, guys. That is the MonsterVerse uh, Steelbook 4K set. With um, this this artwork on the bag just makes my day. It looks so good. I love the spot gloss as well with the scratches on there. Awesome. Yeah. So that's that, guys. This was just so good to get it so cheap on Black Friday. Aside from the Zavi and every just just pain in the ass, this was much worth much worth it for me, and uh, it's just outstanding. I think outstanding. And this made me think about maybe I should get more of these, these Warner Brother 4K Steelbook sets because I think there's like a Mad Max one. Um, I do believe there might be a Rambo one, but I could be incorrect there. But this has made me kind of want to maybe get some of these in the future. But yeah, that is the MonsterVerse Steelbook 4K collection. Let me know what you think of this down below. I'm very late to this set. I know it came out like a year ago, but I just had to make a video on this and talk about my absolute nightmare with Zavi. But I digress. As always, guys, I will see you next time, I suppose. Bye.